Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20th of the June Nico Daily Challenge. Uh, June, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, this farm. Uh, I just woke up, I took a nap. I'm not going to edit everything in, but uh, but the TLDR is that I did do the 50k. Um, 50 miles, oh, no, not 50 miles, 50 kilometers. I, I can't even think straight. Everything hurts. Uh, including uh, my shoulders because I got sunburned. I, 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 I did wear sunscreen, but I guess I just missed a spot. So, uh, yeah, eh, old and dumb. But in any case, I did do the 50 kilometers uh, during the Ted Corbett um, 50K path. So, yeah, to celebrate, you know, today's Juneteenth here in New... Um, I was going to say New York City, which is true, but also United States. Um, and, yeah, that that's it. I don't know. Uh, of course, technically speaking, this video we watch tomorrow, so it's not anymore. I don't know. It, it, time is a very confusing topic, but but let's take a look at today's forum, and I'm gonna go back to bed. Uh, I've been in bed ever since afterwards. But yeah, uh, today we have twenty uh, thirty four forty three a palindrome, maximum maximum Manhattan distance after K changes. Okay, so you're given a strain S, you're given four things: you know, north, south, east, west. You can change at most K characters to any four of the directions. Okay, find the maximum Manhattan distance from the origin that can be achieved at any time while performing the movement in order. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think... So the, the one observation is that <clears throat> um, at any given time, you, um, you know, you have... I was going to say Manhattan distance, but that, obviously, I guess, because this is actually in the problem name, but because you only move up, down, left, right, they kind of all, it, your, your distance is just summation of delta x and delta y, meaning the, the horizontal distance or the vertical distance, right? So that will give, get you the, um, uh, sorry, my, my, uh, my shoulder is so, like, it, it's skin, it's, uh, it's uh, sunburned. Uh, so it's itchy in that way, and I can't stop scratching it. Gotta you know put gloves on, but then I can't type. But in any case, yeah. So it, it's um, the sum of without this k change thing, it's gonna be your your delta distance to the left and right, and then up and down, right? And you could play around with this. I think uh, I'm not gonna do it because I'm a little bit lazy today. But it's all about visualization. Visualize it to kind of figure out with, for yourself if you, especially if you haven't done these kind of problems. I find that. Uh, I, I always urge people to kind of just visualize it and by that just mean drawing it out a little bit. Um, I think sometimes you can get away, especially if you're watching videos like this or maybe even people who are, are more prepared, um, you'll be like, oh, yeah, this is obvious. It makes sense. No, no, no. If you didn't actually get it, and even if you did get it, maybe in a way, just draw it out. I, Because think of it as an investment, right? It's not necessarily like, okay, this farm... Maybe it's obvious, maybe it's not, but when you kind of uh, draw it out and visualize it, then it builds infrastructure, right? For when when you look at the uh, dip, more difficult version of this problem, maybe, right? So that's basically the idea. But anyway, so the Manhattan distance, um, you're gonna sum up all the, because you can look at each each uh, move as negative one, uh, like negative one, zero, or one for each of these values, and then summing all of them up to get the Manhattan distance, right? So you could kind of decompose each move into these one unit components and then sum it all up. Okay, so, so far so good. Now we know how to get the Manhattan distance from any point. Of course, you can also just keep track, right? Um, but now we want to keep track of more than just, because for example, if you don't have to, um, um, if you don't have this K move change, what would you do? Right, so you maybe write something like this, directions you want to set up to, um, let's just say up, up. I guess the X, Y doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. Because uh, sometimes you could, depending on the problem, you could swap them or whatever, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, and the thing is that you can say this is, one on the x-axis, so that's going to the right, and that is yeast. I always confuse yeast and west, to be honest. Uh, so when whenever it matters that they're different, I think about it. Uh, I don't know why is column. So when you, eh, I don't know. 
Depends on how you want to phrase it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and this is going down, so this is south and north, right? And then now maybe you can map them that way in DS is you go to, for directions, it's ESWN. And they just, it's just that these corresponds to these directions, right? And then maybe count is equal to zero times four, right? And then now we have four character in S, we do a switch statement, I hope, because I'm still learning how to do switch statements. So case of, oh, oh no, no, we don't have to do it this way because we set it up, which is cs.index of C. So this gives you the index within the string, which matched with directions and counts, right? So that means that we can do something like um, uh, counts of, uh, maybe just d as you go to this, counts of d increment by one. And then now what is the distance, right? Well, normally without k, it is just the sum of all these things, kind of, except for obviously east and west, they cancel out. South and north, they cancel out. So maybe you would write something like, okay, so you have a best is equal to zero. Uh, maybe you write something like best is equal to uh, max of best counts of zero um, minus counts of two, something like that, right? Maybe this is a little bit hard coded. I don't know. You could maybe write a little bit better if you really wanted to, but fine, right? So here you get you get the max and this is the Manhattan distance, right? And then you can return and you're happy. That's the maximum distance. And of course, if that was the problem, you don't without this k, you don't even have to store it this way. You could just store the, the current x and current y. But the reason why we put in the composition is that now we can make k changes, right? Um, how would we make k changes? Well, if we can't look at this formula now, what are we trying to do? Well, that means that, <clears throat> I think, I don't know if I'm going to articulate this well, but I think intuitive, it makes sense to me, is that you take the smaller of whatever, because absolute differences, right? So you, you literally take the smaller of these two values and then put it onto the bigger one and also do the same for the other direction, up to K in total. And that's it, right? For example, and, and the way that I said it is way I try to be anyway, maybe not. I try to be precise in the definition, which sometimes is still confusing because you're precise and correct, but no one understands you then, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, but for that, you can have a visualization or just like use an example. For example, if you have five north and one south, then of course you want to move this one of the south to an N to north, so that now you have six north instead, right? So similar idea, um, of course, there you have to do it in both directions. For example, if you have both east, west, south, and north, then, and you can just use order case, right? But yeah, and of course, then now we're just about writing it out. So maybe we write, um, I don't know, max x direction is equal to max, right? And then min, min x is equal to min, right? Um, and then now we want to say, um, okay, CK for current K, um, because you, we want to, that's the max number of moves that we can do for this turn. So what we might say is, um, yeah, um, eh, man, my brain is not using, I, I didn't even finish that sentence. That sentence is not even correct. My brain is off right now. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> you want to write something like this to get it off, but of course, um, this could be less than zero, right? So here maybe you could write something used is equal to uh, max of this and zero. No, wait, used, no, this is wrong, whoops. Used is going to be min of m and x. So we use the min of these. So that means that mmx minus used ck minus used and we put it on the max x so we do this right and then now we do the same for y right and you could like again maybe you could uh you could iterate this one in a cleaner way uh you probably can but i just want to write it out because it's a little bit more i don't know let me know in the comments maybe it's not visualization but yeah but we want to carry the the ck that's why we haven't um, and then here, we just kind of used it again here, right? But we do it with Y. And then, yeah. 
I mean, I guess in that case, you, you know. And then now, it's the same thing, except for now we have min and max values. Uh, and we don't need absolute value anymore because we know what the max is and the min, right? So is this uh, plus max y minus min y, right? And that's it. Give it a segment, hopefully. And hopefully I didn't make something silly, which is, happens a lot. 1875, huh? That is slower than I thought it would be, actually. Did I do something silly? Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe just the max and the min functions. That happens sometimes. Uh, so, okay. I, I will, sometimes people ask me uh, on the contest videos why I take out the max functions. Uh, right now, I mean, we'll do it right now to, for, as a proof of concept, right? Uh, right now, you see that it took four seconds. We can write out uh, another function max is equal to, and I write this as a lambda. You could write it as an actual function, right? And this is the same, right? Um, the reason why this is faster is because max actually takes, a, 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 it could take an array, it, it takes variable arguments, so it doesn't know the arguments that it re returns or that it takes as parameter. Um, so it does a lot of funky things. So then now basically we're just removing the overhead, right? Maybe we should admit. But yeah, uh, I only did max because I want to remove only one of them just for illustration. Remember 4.2 seconds, we'll see how much faster this is. 3.6 already, right? Uh, we'll do it again for now. We'll do it again for um, min, right? Um, do you need it? I mean, it, you know, we, oh, I forgot this one actually. But uh, no, right? Because you saw oh, that it got accepted without it. But also, as you can see though, went from 4.2 to 3.6 and now go, go to three, three seconds flat. So, oh, and I missed another one. So yeah. So that's it, right? Uh, yeah, 2.6 now, right? Because I imagine they just do a lot of these functions. And the thing is that this is O of N, so, and this is O of O of 1, so it's really, really cheap. But I imagine that with the input, they have 828 inputs, a lot of them maybe just have a long uh, or a big N, right? That um, if you do this a million times, it's going to add up. Uh, you do it like 80 million times or whatever, right? I don't know. But yeah, uh, and I didn't even look at the constraints because it's O of N, right? But you can see, uh, that's why I do it that way. Uh, I am curious what I did last time. Did I do the same thing? <clears throat> oh, I didn't do the directions thing. Oh, I didn't even use directions. I just used counts. <laughs> Whoops. But I mean, okay. But yeah, you could see I basically did the same thing last time. So I did also optimize the last time. What did I optimize it for? Oh, I did the same thing. I don't. I didn't watch that video, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I explained it then. Anyway, that is all I have for this one, though. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Uh, we're not at 50k subs yet, but it'll probably be there tomorrow, hopefully, knock on wood. So thanks everyone for the support. I should say at the beginning, I keep forgetting. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.